And some people in Pasco County are dealing with water on their property right now. Just weeks ago, we told you how many in Zephyr Hills were dealing with drainage issues. New tonight, our Chad Mills shows us how homeowners in that city are preparing. After all the rain and flooding Zephyr Hills has experienced over the past couple of weeks, a number of people tell me they're taking no chances with this storm in the Gulf. Hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. That's what Megan Sammons and her husband are doing after their Zephyr Hills home took on an inch of water after Debbie. Our kitchen flooded, so it was a lot of cleanup and a lot of mopping. <laughs> that storm and the heavy rains that followed surprised them because it not only flooded their home, but other corners of Zephyr Hills too. We've never had that kind of flooding before here in Zephyr Hills. And for weeks as the area has tried to dry out, neighbors have worried about the threat of a hurricane or tropical storm because even rain from an indirect hit could exacerbate flooding issues here. Even if you don't get a hurricane, you're going to get a lot of rain bands and things like that. It's going to create a lot of rain. Tom Van Adder's Zephyr Hills home is now surrounded by a flood barrier called a Tiger Dam. It was installed by Pasco County because the golf course behind his home remains flooded. Luckily, the water is going down as crews pump it downstream. We're in better shape now than we were two or three weeks ago. Even though he feels his home is ready for more rain, local crews are making preparations. Zephyr Hills is declared a local state of emergency. The city tells us Tiger Dams will be staying up for now, and they're stocking up on fuel and making sure stormwater systems are working. As mentioned, there is a sandbag site up and running. It's actually open 24-7, and it's located on Derry Road at the fire station in Zephyr Hills. In Zephyr Hills, Chad Mills, ABC Action News. And the Zephyr Hills location Chad just mentioned is just one of four self-serve sandbag sites in Pasco County. And they're open 24 hours a day. For locations in this county, you'll need to bring your own shovel and fill your own bag. We spoke to people who came out to get their bags tonight and begin their preparations. You just don't know with these storms. You, know, you think it's not going to be a bad one and it blows up on you and they can get pretty nasty. So just making some precautions and getting the house ready to go. Uh, at our house, we're on the water. Uh, we'll stay there and uh, just you know, see what happens. Yeah, we've done this um, 10 years now, every time there's a hurricane, so we kind of know what's going on at our house at least. In case uh, the water can get up, we put in this, I said, let me do some, and we can try to stop the water, you know, they then go inside the house. Several counties across the Bay Area are now making sandbags available for anyone concerned about flooding. We have a breakdown of all the locations now open on ABCActionNews.com.